Hey guys, Don Rice here, and this is the first time in well over a year, maybe two years, I don't know, but it's been a damn long time since I've had the wing and the fuselage bolted together, but <clears throat> a couple of days ago I was, I got done mounting the rudder servo and a few other things inside the fuselage, and, and I realized all the little sub-assemblies and bits were done. Uh, they've all been made. You know, there's a thousand details left to be done, but all the all the sub-assemblies and subsystems and, you know, major components have been made, and there's nothing left keeping me from going ahead and gluing the tail on. So I thought I would talk a little bit about prepping for gluing the the horizontal stabilizer in place so um i've got the you can see the the wing is sitting on a um a holding fixture here and uh this is not this foam thing this is not part of that fixture uh it's that wooden thing under there so um first thing i did is get it up here and then um, get it leveled out left to right more or less and within a couple of tenths of a degree um, it's mostly just to make sure that I don't have I, I don't do something stupid because my eyeball is uh, getting some kind of um, optical delusion and I want you to look at you can see this pencil line right here in the middle of the fuselage horizontally and as I scan back that is the datum line so that's the datum that's theoretically the angle of flight for this airplane um, and I'll zoom back in on it a little bit I'm going to turn on an auto leveling laser here and you can see that the laser is is right on that line. Okay. So we know that <clears throat> uh so I have the plane leveled uh left to right and fore and aft. And so then what do we do? Well, all right. So Next up is um, we'll put put a put an incidence meter on the wing, and <clears throat> this is this is not an easy wing to get an incidence meter on um, in any way because I mean all of the the whole center section of the wing here is taken up by uh, this radiator and. The wing has more dihedral in it than most airplanes. Um, so this angle here that the wing goes up is, is more severe than most airplanes. Uh, I, I'm assuming to make up for the fact that it's also going up in this direction, uh, the inverted gull wing. So, um, the overall effect is that the these tips here, um, if you were to draw a straight line from the tip to right here on the fuselage, that angle would be very shallow and would be more appropriate for a fighter. But because of the inverted gull, we have some reasonably severe angles. And so what I really want to do is get my incidence meter to be relatively vertical um, in order to not cause any uh, erroneous numbers to come up uh, because it's you know not vertical so uh, the best place to do that the only place to do that somewhere right here in the middle of the wing 
um, but it's very difficult to determine where that is. At least it's difficult for me. So what I've done is uh, I'm running a, I'll take a couple of measurements here with a straight edge and that goes out to, that says eight and a quarter and I'll run it from here. Let's see where my datum is. Um, and that's like nine. So theoretically this has to, uh, <laughs> I don't know which way it has to go. A little over nine. Theoretically this has to go that way a little bit. So I'm at like nine and a quarter. And the problem of course is that the fuselage starts getting skinnier back here. So it's very difficult to determine if this line, is this absolutely parallel with the center of the, of the fuselage? Oh shit, I don't know. Maybe. So, just to me, that looks to be about as close as I'm going to get. And um, so I'm going to say that's it. Whatever that number is on the incidence meter, that's what my incidence is. So let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, in order to get the laser to line up properly with the datum line, um, that took a pink trash can, three sanding blocks, and four sanding pads. For the record, each sanding pad is worth a quarter of a degree um, movement. That's important stuff to know. Okay, so what does the incidence meter say? It says positive 0 0.6 degrees. All right. So, all of that is basically just stabilizing the fuselage. Next, we get the, once we get the stab inserted, which I've done already, um, Then we get the elevators on. Um, then one of the things I do is uh, look at it directly from the tail. And see if I can get this to show you what I see. Go down just a little bit. All right, and that looks pretty close to being level. If anything, the right stab tip is just a little bit lower than the left stab tip. So, um, you can see that balsa shim right there. There's another one right there. That's because I've been working on this for a while um, and it's still not there, which is why I still haven't thrown glue because quite frankly, I'm afraid to. So I keep looking at it. <laughs> All right, so let's say we got a basic setup here. We know that the incidence on the wing is 0 0.6 degrees. What we want on the fusel or on the stabilizer then, uh, in this case, is going to be 0 0.6 degrees. This says, well, really? 
Okay. It says 0 0.5 degrees. Positive. And uh, that is excellent. So, like I said, I've been shimming on it for a while. And <clears throat> so, and the stab is reasonably uh, stable right now. You know, there's some movement here, but it returns to the position that I've got it shimmed up in. Now, other checks that need to be made. All right, I will go from the center line of the rudder right here out to the tip. And I measure 16, or I'm sorry, 19 and 1 16th inches. And we do the same thing over here. And that is. 19 and 1 16th inches. All right, so left and right, that looks good. Next thing I'll do is I'll go all the way out to the aileron uh, tip and right back here to, you can't see this, out here to the stab tip that I just measured to. Ah. Stay. All right. And to me, that looks like about 44 and an eighth. 44 and an eighth. <coughs> Do the same thing here. And this is 44 and a 16th. Okay. Far up. Close enough. One good thing to check though, just to make sure, is to run the same test from your uh, from your wingtip to the center, the same center point on the fuselage I was just looking at which to me looks like 58 and 3 eighths. And going out to the other side. Looks like 58 and 5 sixteenths. So I'm off about a sixteenth of an inch there and roughly a sixteenth of an inch similarly on the stabilizer. So <clears throat> incidence looks good. That's here. Make sure that it's flying in the same plane as the wing. Um, it's square to the wing. The measurements uh, measure out. The left side is just as big as the right side in terms of its distance from the center line on the fuselage. Uh, the only thing I got to do is shim it just a little bit to get that right, um, the right stabilizer tip to go up a little bit, or this one to go down just a little bit. Both is actually going to happen, but I need to get that aligned so that it doesn't look like they're crooked. And so that's how I do alignment. And then um, one of the problems I'm dealing with here is that uh, you can see the kind of gap that I've got here. So there's a good sized gap between the fiberglass fuselage and the top of the stabilizer and um,
and you can see that balsa shim there there's a good size gap on the bottom side so what I'm probably going to end up doing here is uh, I'll put a couple of balsa I may leave those balsa shims in place and simply apply some 20 minute high saw around these balsa shims um, and uh, and just get this thing more or less permanently mounted using with those shims in place and then uh, come back tomorrow and figure out how to work some some glass and some triangle stock and a bunch of other stuff in into these gaps and close the gaps up and get this thing a little more solidly mounted on the fuselage so that's it guys that's how I do the alignment on the tail mounting, and so uh, by this, uh, by tomorrow morning, the tail will be a part of this airplane um, in a way that it never has been before. So I think we're actually getting close. Um, this is for me a huge step. That stabilizer and the elevator. That stabilizer and these elevators were the first thing I built over three years ago and uh, and they've just been sitting around waiting for me to stop dicking around making other parts uh, because uh, for me turning the fuselage over right side up and upside down a thousand times uh, over the course of mounting the engine and the cowl and the radio and the canopy and 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 and, and, and um, that would have destroyed uh, this assembly back here and so I've been waiting for the last couple of years uh, for this very moment. So kind of exciting stuff, at least for me. Later.